Hello, everyone. Today is Thursday, April 11th. It's about 4.09 p.m., about nine minutes after the regular session close. You can see my computer clock on my right here in real time. And on my left is the time in sales, the E-mini S&P currently trading at 28.90 and a quarter. Well, we finally had a really good day today. Uh, first couple of days this week were not so great, so I didn't bother to make a video, although there were some standouts. But today was pretty good. Uh, first up is the DAX, uh, our super reliable uh, 14 tick on the DAX. This is not using the opening range filter. This initially drew down about 500 or 250 per contract with a small loser right here, but then came back with this really nice winning trade. Another small loser and a winner here brought us to our goal of 2,000. Okay, I wanted to bring over a chart that was sent to me by a client uh, this morning. You can see the date up here, 411. And this is the gentleman that uh, qualified for the uh, one-up trader combine. He actually did a $150,000 combine. And he's doing really well. This was today's trade. I've, had, I've asked a couple of my traders that are trading the Auto Trader Live to send me their charts and uh, he sent this to me today and his comment was kind of like one and done or uh, or quick and out something like that as you can see there was two trades here he begins trading the auto trader by uh, trading at certain levels uh, obviously that happened these are I guess his lines for the levels he, he trades he engages the auto trader um, but this happened right off the open so uh, there was two trades. You can see the one here, uh, the short trade. Uh, he hit his target, and then uh, I guess he has a tight, very tight trailing stop right here, perhaps a percentage trail, probably by a very small amount. And then uh, there was a second trade here. Notice he's only trading two contracts. This is the NASDAQ on a Superenco 6 tick. And then the second trade here was hit and he did $510 for the day with no losers, no drawdown. Pretty nice going. Okay, speaking of the NASDAQ, here is the NASDAQ on a 1597 Hike and Ashy chart. And we had kind of similar trading opportunities here today. We had a long here. This began more like 1030 and then that was followed by this short trade here this was a break even here and then a really nice short trade here brought us to 1250 and our goal on this is 1250 so we hit our goal and had no slippage and we had a really fantastic exit here at the low of the day uh, really nice going here it looks like just a tick below the fill went looks like one tick or two ticks below so pretty nice uh, trading on this chart okay next up is the DAX on a 377 Heiken Ashi tick chart and uh, this had two trades here you can see we had a short here and we didn't take this long because we are actually using our uh, weekly open range filter and I have to kind of scrunch the chart up here for you to see it. So that's why we only took these two short trades. That worked out pretty well. And we hit our goal of 1550 with no slippage. Remember, we use a market order um, when we hit our goal. So really nice trading on this chart on the 377 uh, Heiken Ashi tick chart. Okay, next up is the crude oil on a Superenco 4 tick chart. And this has a higher time frame filter of Superenco 6 and also uses our open range filter. And you can see that plotted here on the chart. And what's interesting about this chart is by combining the higher time frame and the open range, it works out to be a pretty good combo. You're not taking every single short trade here. Your short or long has to agree with the higher time frame as well as having the bias of being long above the open or short below the open. So kind of a double filter. 
uh, very low risk. This worked out really well. This is trading only two contracts, and it has a goal of 1,200, so and a loss limit of 800. That's a three to two win ratio, uh, really nice. And this hit its goal with no slippage. So very nice trading on this chart and, and showing that our new open range filter is quite effective. We had a problem with our feed for our news filter and we've corrected that. I, th I think they changed the link or they discontinued it. But anyway, we have the uh, news filter back, it will require an update of the auto trader. So if you use the news filter or you want it, um, please email me and I'll send you a link to download the latest version. Okay, next is the DAX with our uh, Superanko 6 tick with a sensitivity of 9. And this one is starting trading at uh, the open of the DAX session. And this does not have the Step MA filter. Anyway, this did 1800. The goal on this is uh, unlimited. And there was a small loser here. So this finished at 18, 1800 for the day. Uh, probably missed this trade because we didn't get filled on our limit fill which is a pullback of 18 ticks. It's quite steep. So you can see our limit fill pullback on the short here. This was quite a pullback. Our signal would be uh, at the close of this bar, so down here. So this was a pullback of nine points in the DAX. And you can see we got filled. And you can see that price actually did trade through that. Now here's a six tick chart of the DAX with our step moving average as a filter and the trend sensitivity on this is one instead of nine which is a huge difference but we're filtering the trades out by the step ma so the rule for the step ma is it has to be the step moving average itself which is the red line here uh, you can see the uptrend on the step ma and then changing to down uh, the step ma has to be less than it was one bar ago and so uh, we did get filled here uh, you can see we had a split fill, and a split fill cannot happen in the market replay or a historical look back. That can only happen in real time. And so the retracements here uh, are filtered out by the step MA. The step MA is red, so we, we can't go long unless the step MA is blue. One of the nice things about the step moving average is that when the market goes sideways like this, it tends to flatten out instead of actually changing to blue. So you can kind of see this, you know, kind of step down. And and again, it flattened out here. We didn't get taken long. This would have been, these these all could, would have been losing trades here. These three, uh, four areas of blue bars, actually five. These th This would have all been whipsaw trades here if they weren't filtered out. But instead, we had two back-to-back -back winners. And... The goal on this is 1500 and we did 1475 so we had uh, a tick of slippage per contract here and this did hit its goal but you can see how effective the step moving average is so between our filters we have some really great filters between the step moving average the higher time frame filter and the open range filter these are all designed to help you avoid losing trades, uh, vibrations in the market like this, and they also help to help you to be in confluence or agreement uh, with the trend or direction of the market. Okay, next up is the E-mini S&P on a Superenco 6 tick, and this is also using our weekly open range filter, so we're only taking short trades, and this has a goal of 2000 and we did 650 so uh, pretty high on the goal here so here is the chart scrunched up with the uh, weekly open filter you can see the weekly open on 47 and you can see today how that uh, interacted now interestingly uh, notice uh, how this 
uh, weekly open provided uh, resistance, you know, just a few ticks above here. So the weekly open and the daily open range filter, really excellent ways to separate uh, trading from short to long. Okay, the DAX on a 34 tick line break had a single trade, just good for a couple of ticks, 187.50. That's about six ticks in the bonds. And you can see our filter here. Uh, probably missed this trade here. Uh, we didn't get filled on our short, probably. Otherwise, it would have been a little bit better. But still, all in all, still showing the filter works pretty well. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.